All right. Who logged in for me? Come on over here. Thank you so much. Go ahead and join your group mates. I'm going to plug in my computer here or the borrowed computer. All right, Ms. Brighton's class, thanks for visiting. I um, have a quick thing I want to run by you, and then I want to give you a chance to do it on your own. However, this won't work if you're not closely following my instructions. Before I get started, though, I'd like to point out something. As the person that helps you use technology for learning, I have a few things that I want every student to learn before they, they leave Netzerberg Elementary. All right, one of the big ideas that I want you to know about technology is you can use technology to develop as a creative communicator. You probably communicate all the time with speaking, with writing, and today we're going to talk about also using video, audio, and visuals and putting all of that together in order to communicate an idea. And what idea are we communicating? Ms. Brighton, can I get one of those? Thank you. So you got to visit some first graders and they shared, they shared some ideas about uh, their marketplace with you and you took some notes. These are gonna be very useful to you. Your job is gonna be to communicate the ideas that the first grader gave you um, as a video back to the first grader. The first grader is your audience. And you can also think of this as like um, you're helping them out with a commercial for their product or their service that they're making. And you're going to create that communication, that piece of communication with words and pictures. You've got an idea for the words here and I'll talk to you about adding the pictures in. Ms. Brighton? I mentioned the word advertisement. Oh yeah. What is an advertisement? So, I thought we could start there a little bit. Let me give you, does anybody know of another word for the advertisement that Miss Brighton is talking about? Something else we commonly call it? It sounds like a lot of you have it. What do you think it is? Commercial. A commercial. Have you heard of a commercial before? Yeah. yeah. A commercial is a type of advertisement. An advertisement, like, do you have something else to add? Yeah, like in the bottom corner or something. That's another kind of advertisement. Advertisement could be something that people want you to buy, something people want you to look at or pay attention to. It could be in print. It could be over the radio. It could be in, um, in TV. Also, advertisements are commercials. That's like uh, the videos that you see about buying this product or check out this service. I'm going to show you very quickly what I'd like you to do today. I'm going to have you use Adobe Creative Cloud Express video. A lot of you have used that before, which is great. And today I'm hoping that you can create a very short, maybe six or so slides, Adobe Creative Cloud video for the student that you worked with, that you interviewed. And I'm going to go through it very quickly right now so that you can see all the steps. And after I go through it, then I want you to be able to go and uh, work on your Chromebooks to do the same thing for your student. Yes? Is there a certain time like on the video that you have to stop at? No. You could like go. Forever. You could go on and on, but think about communicating. People uh, want to communicate an idea. You want to communicate an idea. If you go on and on and on, people are no longer listening to you. They get bored. And if people aren't listening to you, then you're not really communicating. Communication is more than just you saying stuff or you making the video. You gotta make it interesting enough that people will watch it and get something from it. So I'm gonna go through quickly. I'm gonna go kind of fast now because I'm gonna explain it fast because a lot of you have seen this before. This will just be a reminder. To use Adobe Creative Cloud Express, we are going to Edu Rostered Apps and then we're going to Adobe Creative Cloud Express. If a little thing pops up asking for our password, we're gonna skip that for now because whenever we sign in with tools and we get an option, we always sign in with Google because 
Uh, everything is tied to your school Google account pretty much. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to pretend to be this student for now, but after I'm done, I'm going to delete everything that I do because then you got to start over from the beginning. But that's okay because the stuff that I do is going to be different from the stuff you want to do anyway to communicate your idea. When you're logged in to Adobe Creative Cloud Express, you click on the plus symbol and you click on video. <coughs> After you click on video, you click skip because we don't want a template. We want to start from scratch. And after you click start from scratch, it loads up the, the, um, the template, or I'm sorry, the, work, the workstation for you to make your video. Now I want to make a video, so let's make up a student's name. I'm going to say the student Jojo. The student, oh, your interviewee, the person you interviewed. All right, so I have the student Jojo, and let's say I want to add a picture and I'll look for a picture of a kid. I don't have a picture of Jojo to use. I'll show you about using icons later. But for now, I'll just put in a picture of a kid. I'm searching kid, and this kid. Yeah, you could go back later and take a photo. So I'm going to pretend this is Jojo. All right, and now I'm going to check out my note-taking tool. And it looks like I asked well, what's one of the first things I asked my interviewee? What did I ask this person? All right, so I'm going to add that as a text. So what are you making for, what's this thing called? Marketplace. For your marketplace project. And if I, know how to, if I don't know how to spell any of those words, I bet they're on here somewhere on my note-taking tool. All right. And... I'm going to add another slide now. Notice I'm clicking down here in the corner to add slides. I'm going to make up something, and I'm going to choose an icon. Jojo was very creative, and Jojo made something that there isn't a picture for yet. Or the, Jojo wants to make something that there isn't a picture for yet. It's like a new invention they made up. So I'm going to say it's um, an automatic banana peeler, something that automatically peels bananas. And I can't find automatic banana peeler, but I can search for banana as an icon. And it's going to give me lots of cool options for banana. Oh, look, and here's one that's peeling. Wonderful. I'll use that one. All right. Next, I had another question for Jojo. The second question was... Oh, no, that wasn't my first question. Your first question was, what is a marketplace, right? Yeah. So I'm going to put in, what is... Because Jojo told me his idea of what it is. And even though I put it on slide four, I'm going to click and drag it over because I want it to be the second thing I talk about. And um, let's see, what do you think Jojo said? Like in a sentence, what do you think Jojo said? Um, a marketplace is like where people buy stuff with, like it could be free, it could be like $5, $10, money. And what it can do. They sell, they, sell, they, sell ma they made fake money. Mm. Fake money. Okay, so they, they're going to buy things with this fake money. So I'm going to add an icon and I'm going to put in buy. And let's say I don't, I don't like any of these. So I'm just going to write in money instead. Maybe I want to have a picture of money or an icon of money. Um, this big bag, big bag of money. There we go. Now, actually, um, Jojo said a little bit more than that, so I'm going to change the layout so that I can put in two pictures. Let's see if I can do that. So I've got a picture of a money bag on one side, and on the other side, I'll put in another icon. How about cell? I'll see if an icon for cell comes up. And do the house, do the house thing, this thing? Yeah. It's like a little shop? Yeah, I like that. All right. So look what I've got so far. I've got a title slide. I've got the first question and a place for me to record the answer. I've got the second question and a place for me to record the answer. Now I need the third question. And I'm not going to write the whole thing, but I know it's something like, why do you think it will sell or something like that? Yeah. And then I'm going to put in one last icon. Why does Jojo think this thing will sell? I'm going to put that people love bananas and they just want to have a way to, to eat them faster. 
So I'm going to put the I'm going to put the little love symbol. I'm going to find something, and I like this. All right. I'll wait just a moment to um, get everybody's attention again because the next part uh, is going to go quick too. I'm not done yet. All I've done is make my slides. I've chosen some words to add, some text. I've chosen some icons, some pictures to help me communicate. So I'm communicating this idea about JoJo's product. This is what you need to do soon. Now I need to record the words. And I'm not just going to say what I wrote here word for word. Part of communication is making some choices like, okay, how can I put this in an advertisement? How can I put this in a commercial that sounds really cool, uh, that makes people like JoJo's product? So I'm going to make this up. You're probably going to spend a little bit of time thinking about this. You're going to spend more time thinking about it than I am right now. All right. So I'm going to record audio on each slide. And if you forget how to record audio, I'm showing you how to do it right now. You click and hold on the microphone. The first time you do it, you might get a little notice that says, are we allowed to use your micro microphone? You've got to click allow or it won't work. And now when you click and hold and the timer starts going, that's recording your audio. When you let go, the recording stops. And if you mess up, just record it again. It replaces your old audio. All right. Hey, everybody. I want to tell you about this amazing kid, Jojo, and the product they invented. They made this product for their marketplace, and I want to tell you what Jojo said, what a marketplace is. Jojo said that a marketplace is this cool place where people come together and they buy and sell things. And for this project, there's fake money that the students are going to get to spend in first grade, and they're going to get to buy each other's products and services. Notice how it said keep it short on there? Yeah. You want to keep it shorter than what I just did even. If you need to say more, $10. Oh, so I want to say more. So I want to talk more about this idea, but I don't want to have more audio on this one slide. So I'm going to click that little circle. I'm going to duplicate that slide. So that gives me uh, the same slide again, but I can add some different audio. Each student in the marketplace is going to get $10 to spend. And I know they're going to want to spend all those $10 on JoJo's product. They can also earn more money by doing their shop. This is more stuff you can add on your, on your slides. <laughs> All right, you guys have waited a long time. I asked Jojo, hey, Jojo, what are you going to be making for your product for the marketplace? What's going to make everybody spend all their money with you? And Jojo has the amazing idea of creating a banana peeler, an automatic banana peeler. No more waiting to get inside that banana. It peels it for you automatically. All right, now I need to scroll a little bit here. <laughs> and you might be asking yourself, why would anybody want that? Jojo, how are you going to make any money with this automatic banana peeler? It peels bananas for you, and everybody loves bananas. Do I have to repeat myself? It peels bananas for you, and everybody loves bananas. So come on down to Jojo's Marketplace and buy yourself a wonderful automatic banana peeler. You want to see what it looks like? Yeah. All right. So now, if I wanted to, I could click share and generate a link, but I'm just going to preview it for now just to see what came out. Hey, everybody. I want to tell you about this amazing kid, Jojo, and the product they invented. They made this product for their marketplace, and I want to tell you what Jojo said what a marketplace is. Jojo said that a marketplace is this cool place where people come together and they buy and sell things. And for this project, there's fake money that the students are going to get to spend in first grade, and they're going to get to buy each other's products and services. Each student in the marketplace is going to get $10 to spend, and I know they're going to want to spend all those $10 on Jojo's product. All right, you guys have waited a long time. I asked Jojo, hey Jojo, what are you going to be making for your product for the marketplace? What's going to make everybody spend all their money with you? And Jojo has the amazing idea of creating a banana peeler, an automatic banana peeler. No more waiting to get inside that banana. It peels it for you automatically. 
And you might be asking yourself, why would anybody want that? Jojo, how are you going to make any money with this automatic banana peeler? Do I have to repeat myself? It peels bananas for you, and everybody loves bananas. So come on down to Jojo's Marketplace and buy yourself a wonderful automatic banana peeler. Thank you. Thank you. So I've now used my notes. I've used this tech tool in order to communicate this idea about this product. I want to stop talking and I want to give you a, mo a moment to be able to go to your, to your uh, Chromebooks and start working. Ms. Brighton, do you have something to add? Totally. If you need to use, yeah. If you need to use my um, headsets, I've got a bunch over there. Ms. Brighton has headsets for you if you need them. You just look here and here. Here, let's restart to get you out of the testing. How are we doing? Do we need more microphones? I might have a few more. There you go. You can borrow this one. That one. There we go. Oh. That. This is also a microphone. There are two up there by the door. Oh, you click on the little home button right here. And then you could delete it if you want, like it's down here in your recent projects. And you could delete it from here, or you could just ignore it and then make a new video. Bam, bam, and then go from there. It's another microphone. You're welcome. When you're ready to record, you can pull that little microphone down and you don't have to have it super close to your mouth. It'll sound good, even if it's a few inches away. You have a microphone? Here, you can borrow this one. What? Thank you. What? You got it. I think I have one of those at my mom's house. So she's a psychologist. Why? Awesome. I don't think I need to keep it steady like this. I think that's good. Mr. Devine, yep. these don't work. Like I don't like I wear these and they don't like they don't like um Look. They adjust. I know, but it's not bad. It's just like they're so small and they don't fit on my eyes. And then they they always like fall off. Okay, you can use the microphone that's just built into your computer then. Oh, yes, I'm gonna move on the phone. No, I can't tell her that because she's working on something else. Just focus on what you are doing, okay? All right, creative communicators. Let's see what you can make. Ms. Brighton, do you want me to set up a Google form real quick to collect these videos? Sure. Okay. I'll do that on while my, I get started. On my classroom? Sorry. I can link it on the, on the um, on class link on the Dragon's Nest website. She, so Ms. Hawkins had talked about having the kids take pictures and then creating like a folder 
so that they can pull the pictures from it. They can do that. Uh-huh. That is possible. It just takes a lot of work and setup. But none of that will happen automatically. It would be like us doing the pictures, collecting them in Google. We can have a link sent out to the kids where they can see all of the images that have been collected. They could totally do that. It just takes somebody doing that. Can you change how your words look? Yeah. The font? On the theme. Uh, at the very top, there's music, layout. One of them is theme. Yes. Um, can you, how do you get the type of kids that you have? Like, with the background? I searched for a photo. When I, there's a little plus symbol in the middle of your slide. Yeah. You click on it, and one of the options is photo. I searched photo. Oh, okay. So, I, she wanted them to take pictures on her phone, or she was like, I could take pictures on my phone and send them to you. But then, she could. How do I then get it to them? Though? You can upload all of those in a Google folder yeah. and have it so everybody with the link can view the items in the Google folder and then okay. send them in Google Classroom the link to that Google folder and then they could see all the images. Okay. That's probably the fastest way. Okay. And then they can say, oh, that's my student. No. Can they take pictures on, Chromebook, on our Chromebooks? Yep. They can. It's a little bit like hard to hold as a camera, but yeah, you can totally do that. You just, like, can I show Miss Brighton something? Is it here? Yeah, it's there. I'm gonna show Miss Brighton something real quick, okay? Yeah. So let's say on this one I wanted to add a photo. Photo. And, oh, come on. Photo. These three dots with my camera. I wanna take a photo, allow it to access. So it's a lot of steps, but it then, and it's not a great camera. Yep. Yeah, they can. Like, let's say I wanted it just to be me. But how do you, can you flip it so it's the other way? No, because the camera's right there. They could flip this whole thing, but then they can't really click anything. The camera is right there pointed that way. There's nothing on this side to go the other way. I see. Okay. So that's the one I wanted. I could click confirm. So it's a little bit hard to... Okay. So yeah, they should do it on their phone. Yeah. All All right. Matthew, did you have a question? Is that really the kindergartner's name? C A R I O S? Hold on. That's how he told you to spell it? Okay. Well, if that's how he told you to spell it, you can leave it. And remember, it's just a computer who doesn't know all the names. You're smarter than it. I don't see any of the questions on the paper. Right. But you asked it still, didn't you? Remember what you asked this person? I remember what I asked, but I don't remember how to spell it. What did you ask? I asked, what is a marketplace? So the word you're having trouble with is marketplace, right? Yeah. Do you see marketplace anywhere on your note-taking sheet? There you go. Yes. Um, how do we get what app you go on again? You go to EduRostered apps, and then you go to Adobe Creative Cloud Express. keep on falling off my ears. You might need to hold them. These are the only ones I've got. Okay. It's not written down. You have to remember what you asked them. Did you type in kids when you were looking for a picture? Yeah. If you want just one kid, then you can search kid without the S on the end and see what comes up in the stock footage or stock video uh, photos. Kid. And which one best represents your kid? You've got a lot to do in the next few minutes, folks. Try to see how far you can get. Oh. I forgot to remind you of one thing. Ms. Brighton's class, if you hear my voice, please clap twice. Awesome. If you hear my voice, Ms. Brighton's class, please clap once. One thing I want to point out. Look up here. The way, the way I did it up here, how I added the slides first and then added my voice, You should do it that way first. Plan out your slides first, 
and then you'll get to um, adding your voice. So think about what words you have to type, what icons you want to use. You're making decisions about how you're communicating your ideas. Plan your slides first. And what was the first slide you did? How does the market name, do? name, right? Yeah. So you have the name on interviewee on your clipboard. And then the second slide was what question? How does the market work? Right, how does the marketplace work? Or what is a marketplace? Or what is a market? Think about how you ask your partner. And then put a picture. It can just be a made up picture because we're going to insert some pictures later. Everybody get that name and then get the first question and then a picture. And then the second question and a picture and the third question and a picture. You're making a lot of choices right now about how to communicate. Make sure you have a good plan. Ms. Brighton, how long do we have? They probably won't finish it today, right? Like this is just getting it set up. I have to do the spelling bee uh -huh. for third grade. I told them, but I'm only pointing to ten kids. And my kids were going to go to Ms. Patel's room. Okay. And hang out. At one o'clock. Okay. They can stay here if they want, if they so want more time here. to work on it. That's fine. Because you have specials soon, right? 150. Oh, not one, 150. So we're good. Yeah, I'm good. I have a the video I'm working on, but okay. I don't know. So, oh, I might have you re-record your section on the video, by the way. Okay. Not because you did bad, but because the parent who said that thing showed up and she wanted to record oh, the things perfect. she said. No problem. I'll okay. record them. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Brighton, they look like they're working so hard. Did they do this for you all the time? All the time. Wow. There is a layout button up here. Do you see it? Yeah. It's one of the four. Click on that, and one of them shows a side-by-side -side option. You're planning out your slides. You probably have at least six slides, maybe seven or eight, depending on what you want to say. What's the first question that you asked your first grader? How does the marketplace work? You asked the, the first grader, how, how does the marketplace work, right? Like what happens in a marketplace or something like that. Isn't that what you asked your? I said, what is the marketplace? That works too. That's a, it's a similar kind of question. How does it work? What is it? Like... What are you selling? We just want to make sure part of what you were doing is making sure the first grader understood what this project was all about. Are you trying to make oh the money bags? Cool. You doing okay so far? Planning it all out? Nice. So remember when I wrote uh, that question on one of the slides. That could be one of your slides. Or, if you don't want to type out the question, you could just have a person like going like this, like, I don't know, or a big question mark, and, it, and then you could just say the question. It's up to you how you communicate that. Type that question. Mm -hmm. What are you making? Uh, how do you put an icon again? Did you, um, when you have text here, the only thing you can really put behind it is a photo. So you'll start with a new one and see the plus symbol in the middle you just clicked? Yep, icon is one of the options. And then you can search for the kind of icon. What are you looking for an icon of? Lemonade. Lemonade. Is that the product your first grader wants to sell? And then they have all kinds of choices. How do you spell voicelets? Oh, it's on here. Good way to use your tool. I want to encourage you to do something. 
instead of typing out their whole answer, put in an icon or a picture, and then you can just record your voice saying their answer. And you can say, my first grader said, a marketplace is a place where you go, and the rest of that. Okay? Because it's more fun to watch a video when you're hearing it than just reading it from the screen. Okay? All right. Are you, do you feel okay about recording your voice? Awesome. If you're not sure how to spell something, you can always go to a new tab and use the voice search and say, How do you spell? Oh, that's allowed to use a microphone. How do you spell? How do you spell boy search? How do you spell boy search? Ta da! Use your tools. I want to encourage you to not type out their answer. Instead, choose an icon to represent their answer, a picture, and then you just record your voice saying their answer. Remember how I didn't say banana peeler on my example. I recorded my voice explaining that he wanted to make a banana peeler. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you watch a video, do you like to read what's on the screen or you like to listen to what they're saying? So you want to do the same thing for the people watching your video. They want to listen to it. They want to hear it. So think of, of a picture that shows what you're saying, and then your voice is going to give their answer. Did you hear what I just said, Mila? What did I say? Right. And what are you doing on your screen right now? You're typing it. So are you going to change what you're doing? I hope so, because I want this video to be awesome. And I think your voice would sound great explaining it instead of me just reading it from the screen. All right? Everyone, I want to give you the advice again. Don't have a lot of text on your screen. I don't want to see a lot of text. I want to be able to just hear your voice explaining things and maybe some pictures to go along with what you have coming out of your mouth. That's how we're communicating. The words coming out of your mouth plus the pictures you decide to put in. So less text, more pictures and audio. Less text, more pictures and audio. What are you going to say that helps me understand that? That is a bracelet. So give me the whole thing that you're going to say for this slide. What do you think you're going to say? My, um, my student, Kate, um, is planning on making bracelets for her presentation. So when I hear those words and I see that icon, those things are coming together for me and I feel like I'm getting a pretty good idea of what you wanted because to say. This is, I do these, these are the best ones because I'm going to add in, like, maybe I'm going to say something like beads because she said she's making beads bracelet. Mm. So you're really communicating what she said with your yeah. icon and your words. Nice work. How do you split the screen? On the layout option at the top, do you see the one that says split screen, the second one from the top? Right there. There you go. It looks like it's been going for 11 seconds. Here. All I hear is music. Mm. Let's double check that you allowed it to use the microphone. Yeah, it says you're allowed to use the microphone. Let's try to plug in on this side. One of the things you can troubleshoot is try a different port. So, I'm going to try to record just test, test, test. Now, let's see. Can you hear it? Did my audio come through? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's just... You can also... Oh, no, it's turned up enough. These ones also have this little controller. Yeah. you got to be careful not to hit it. It might mute. And if the, that doesn't work for a second time, you can just unplug it and record using the microphone that's on your Chromebook. It's not amazing, but it does pretty good. This dude of mine is the perfect picture because my person in their marketplace, they're drawing a green cat. That is a very good find. You're lucky that you found a picture that matches exactly what you wanted to say.
Nice icons. Not too much text, right? You have the icons, and then you're going to say stuff later. I'm trying to think of what I say at first. How does it match the language? Do you mean what you say at the very beginning when you introduce them? Oh. Well, you know the person's name. You know they're a first grader. That could be enough for now. Hey, everybody. I want to talk to you about Kazlyn. She's a first grader. And she's got something to sell. <laughs> How are you going to say that when you say it out loud? How does Mark place? Um, nice. I like that. Um, and then I got that so like Do you know, one thing I just noticed that you did, you shrugged your shoulder a little bit. You should see if there's a picture you can add or an icon that shows somebody shrugging their shoulders. Because it seems like that's one way to communicate what you're trying to say. So you've got icons, you've got pictures. Uh, what happened? Uh, I didn't want to hit this or keep it going without me holding it. And then when I stop it, I click here. Interesting. Well, this one is where you can manually tell it if you want it to be shorter or longer. It looks like your um, mouse is sticking. Yeah, let's refresh the page. That might help us fix that. But it seems like you're clicking and it's, and it's holding down. That might be a Chromebook problem. Okay, let's, was it this slide you were recording on? So let's try it again. Blah, blah, blah. So that time I did it. If your website's ever acting weird like that, sometimes refreshing the page helps solve it. Okay, now time to add my voice. Mr. Uh, Mr. Divine, how do you spell curious? Go ahead and set your computer down. I love Google's voice search. You click on the little microphone, click allow. And what was your question? Curious. There you go. It is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A few of these are doing that. You might have ended up with a set that does that. Try it again. And if you need to, you can move to somewhere quieter in the room. This is your microphone. And it works pretty good. I just know some of these have problems. So I've got a quiet spot over here. That's probably one of the quietest spots. Okay. Hey, have you made your slides? Looks like you've got one, you've got the question, you've got icons, you've got this. What is, what is your student making? So they, they're doing lemonade. So they're painting rocks and doing a lemonade stand, and lemonade stand and um, selling food. Cool. And I can't find anything because I want it to be all of it. So I went into picture to get all of that. Mm -hmm. which, which picture are you having trouble finding? Painting rocks. Painting rocks. Show me what comes up when you search for painting rocks. Well, let's get a slide ready first so you have a place to put it. Click on the plus symbol. All right, so now you've got a place to put the picture. Photo. only that. So my advice to you is since you can't really find something for painting rocks, which one do you think is going to help convey your idea better? If you find a picture of rocks or if you find a picture of paint? I think you're right. Let's see what comes up with paint.
will be P A I N T. A and I go together. And then you can choose one of those that you think would help you share your idea. And then the words you say, you got to be sure to mention rocks, like painting rocks or painted rocks. Do you think that will work? I think this one will be good. Click it. And then when you go to record later, you can mention the the rock painting rocks or painted rocks. All right, keep going. Get your slides ready. Hey. What you said? How do you erase what you said? Yeah. So you have something recorded here and you don't like it. All you do is just record again and it replaces what you have previously. I can't. If the website's ever acting weird, like I'm gonna click and hold, it's not doing anything that's weird. Hit the refresh button. And a lot of times, whatever it's having problems with, it gets resolved if you hit refresh. Let's give it a second. All right, now try to re-record. Does it look better now? Go blah 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 blah. Yeah, so that deletes the old recording. Okay. That was a little too long. That was a little too long. So if you'd like, if you've noticed you're saying a lot for this slide, you can duplicate this slide and then you can say part of it on this slide and part of it on the other slide. Maybe I'll try. Oh. I'm just not a girl. I'm doing intro, it's not doing anything. It's not searching. Whenever the website is acting weird or any website, um, one thing you can do to troubleshoot is just hit refresh real quick. And sometimes reloading the page helps get it out of whatever problem it's having. What is the So after it loads, try it again. Okay. Why is it dark? Hey, how do you feel about recording your voice? Are you going to be okay with that? You're not going to be too shy? All right, since you're not going to be shy with recording your voice, my advice is to not type out what you're going to say. This is the, the answer of your first grader, right? So instead of typing out the words, you're going to say the words. And you can include a picture to represent the idea you're trying to say. So what are you talking about here? What's the, what's the, what are the words you're going to say in this part? I'm going to say, um, All these different places he can play with it. Mm -hmm. So if I were you and I was trying to make some slides that shows those different places, instead of having the words here, I would choose the split screen and have an icon here for one place, an icon here for the other place, and then a, another slide, an icon here for one place and an icon here for the other place. You mentioned like school and in the car, like all these different places where you can play with the fidget. You can have a pic, an icon for school, an icon for a car, an icon for outside, an icon, like a different icon. So you have those icons, those pictures, 
and then the words come from your recording. Can you give that a try? Mm -hmm. All right, give that a try. Yeah. My computer was frozen. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm done. Can I nice. Do, can I do a uh, dragon button? Did you record all your your words? Sure. Mm -hmm. You want to do the dragon button game? Yeah. Can I show you what happened? Search Google for it. Oh, yeah, it's frozen. So we're gonna hit the power and the refresh button that forces it to restart. So everything you've done so far is saved. You just have to go back to Adobe, go back to your projects, and it's gonna be one of the most recent projects. Don't worry, what you have done so far is saved. Okay, because I finished. Really? Yeah. Nice. What if they don't give a good explanation for your aunt for your question? What do you mean? What did they say? Well, I asked what Mark is a marketplace, and mm -hmm. this is what he said. What did he say? A marketplace works first, get the money, second, get the items, third, sell the items to get money. Okay. Not that good of an explanation. Well, if you'd like, you can say what they said, and then you can say your answer or what you think they meant. You can say, my first grader said this, and I think they meant this. Why do you upload two photos? I want to. Oh. I got, I got dough on the head. So let's close this. And you can search for featured free kid. Maybe there's some more. Yeah, there's a few more in that one. I have Zoe under headphones. Zoe under headphones. Very cool. I like how you're all building. Good work. We're you're, building. You're building. You're communicating. I'm the nice. tallest building yet. How come you're away from your computer? You have work to do still, right? You gotta get your slides ready. It looks like you've got one question here, but I think you asked more than one, right? Get your other slides ready. Click on the plus symbol. And what was your second question? What's that? These are making very real May I hear? Oh yeah. A few of these are having that issue. You can try it one more time on this side. And if it still sounds bad, then just record using the microphone that's built into your Chromebook. Wouldn't that be a lot of noise though? It might, but it'll still sound better than all the crackly sound. Then try just recording with the microphone that's on the system. How do you spell what? Wood. Do you mean like he would sell something or he chops down some wood? The um, wood is like in the question. Wood. How do you spell wood? Like wood you. Okay. You can use the voice search to spell it correctly. Nice. What do you do when you finish? Like how do you turn it on? Oh, we're ready to turn in? Yeah. Yep. Really? Yeah. yeah, let me show. Okay. Let me show you. Let me make a Google form real quick, okay. and I'm going to link it, and then I'm going to have you two come up, and I'll show you how to do it on the big screen, and then everybody will know how to turn it in. Okay? Yay! I want to do it.
back foot. So I just need a couple minutes to set up the Google form. Oh, okay. okay. So now can I play? Dragon button game? No. Can I play um, Education Minecraft? No, because that'll take you out of the web browser. Yes. Yeah. What did you get? I got a cool prize with chocolate. I want one of those new prize. They're cool. Did you, were you the class champion? The class champion? What's that? The class champion for the spelling bee. No. Uh, me right. and Lila was. So they're probably going to get those. I can give them to you. I haven't made them all yet. All right, you go. Um, have a seat. I'm gonna be making something. I'll show you. You want to see what I'm doing? Yeah. All right. I'm making what's called a Google form. What's a Google? How do you do that? I went to Google Drive and I clicked on Create Google Form. Brighton Marketplace Videos. So I'm gonna have your name. Okay. I know my name. Your interviewee's name. All right. And then link to your video. And that looks like that'll be enough. So now I'm going to copy the web address. Have you ever been to the Dragon's Nest? Yeah. So on the Dragon's Nest, I'm going to add another button. Add another button? Just... Sure. Wait, were you the one that made the Dragon's Nest? Yep. So is this going to show every single person in the whole entire school? Well, the link shows up, but you're the only ones that will really know what to do. Really know what to add to the to the Google form. I'm just going to sit down on the chair. Where's the lunchbox on that? I'm sat in the lunchbox. Right, Where is it? Are you almost ready? Yeah. All right, I'm going to move this up here. Adi? Yeah. Adi? Yeah. Bye, Tiffany. Video. Okay, you ready to show everybody how to do it? I'm on it. Yeah, I'm on it. All right. Put it on. Uh, that's almost what I put it on. What? I want to show everybody what to do. Okay, where's your computer? And you're going to show everybody next what to do? Are you done publishing your video? Yep. All right. So plug mine. this into the side of your computer right I there. I finished mine. What, do you think we have to show after? I'm going to, she's going to show everybody how to do it. Can you help me? Wait, one moment. Let me. Wait, we're supposed to put picture? Are we supposed to put that? Ms. Brighton's class, if you hear my voice, please clap once. I have a few students that I'm going to um, walk through turning in your video to me, to Ms. Brighton. If you are still recording, that's fine. But if you're done, here's how you share your video. Step one, click share up at the top and click publish. And here you can give it a title. Maybe you can call it like your name and your interviewee's name. You're going to be making a link that takes people to your video. And you're sure you're done, right? Okay. That's it. CLS? Yeah. Okay. Click Create Link. Now that is going to be working. On a new tab, go to Class Link. So let that do its work. On a new tab, go to Class Link and go to the Dragon's Nest on Class Link. Okay, what do we press Go to the Dragon's Nest. There it is. And now at the very top of the Dragon's Nest, I just added a link that says Brighton's Video Links. I click on that. 
and type in your name. And then go down and type in the person you interviewed. And then I need a link to your video. So let's go back to your video. Let's see if it's done making the link. It looks like it is. Click copy. Then go back to the Google Form tab. And then paste. Paste here is Control V. Just one time, Control V. Perfect. Then hit Submit. And that's how you turn in your video. Now I'll be able to see it, Ms. Brighton will be able to see it, and more importantly, your first grader will be able to see your video. Remember, you're making it for your first grader. You want to do it too? Good job. I'm going to have you switch places, so I'm going to walk you through it. We'll have a few people um, see it multiple times so we know how it works. What do you need help with? Go ahead and bring your Chromebook over here since... Um, now right. Now you can play the dragon button game or help other people finish. Showing other people your slideshow, all your thingy, majimmy. Yeah, your first grader is gonna see it. Your first grader is gonna see it for sure. But like your class. Oh, maybe. You might be able to show it to your to your, everybody in Miss Brighton's class. Okay, you've already made the share link. Good job. Now go to Google. I'm sorry. Go to class link. Did you press copy? Dragon's Nest. And refresh this page because I added the link and now it's on there. There it is, Brighton's video links. Click there. And you know how to do it from here? All right, you go ahead and do it from here. What's up? It won't let me press the microphone. If it's ever being weird, one thing you can do is refresh your page and then usually that resolves any issues that the website has. Like if it's being funny, it being weird, not working right. After it does that, then we'll see if it works. You're already making your link? Did you did you sh uh, record your voice yet? Okay. It works now? Good job. And did you copy your link already? Go back to your Adobe Express tab. Click on copy. Then go back to the Google Form tab. And then hit Control V. That's how you paste. There you go. And submit. Done. You want to do it too? You want to show people how to do it? Go ahead and let them plug in. Oh, careful. After you figured it out, you can help other people. like Elias or Elias but I'm not sure I didn't talk to the student when you're interviewing somebody that's one of the first things you should ask them like hey how do you say your name what's up so somebody updated the test. Whose uh, class are you in right now? Miss Reagan's. Hmm. I'm not sure. You might need to reload it. multiple. Yeah, you might have to... We're going to just reload it because it looks like it's stuck. Thank you. Well, let's see. Oh, okay. 
So it froze somehow, and let's hope that continuing it doesn't cause any problems. Okay. Good luck. Mm -hmm. You need a mouse? Yeah. You can ask Miss Brighton what she'd like you to do next. She might be. Did you? Sh oh yeah, they're doing a spelling bee. Did you type out your learning in the dragon button game? No, I did it. Do the typing next. After the dragon button game. Well, we might be able to start watching the video soon. Did you have a question earlier? Did you share your video? You, can you play it? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. So what do you mean by you start to make it to watch any videos? Because people have been submitting them, so we have a bunch of videos to watch. So you have to watch them? We can watch them. Uh, maybe we should show them. Maybe we should have a little film festival. Did you submit it? No. So oh, submit it. here's the thing. Whenever I want to record, like when I let go and then I record again and then I let go again and then I play. So it says the last recording press is, is deleted. Like, for example, um, this is me. Notice how there's no timer going? If there's no timer going, it's not recording. And this is like spinning. This might be like frozen or something's up. It's not working correctly. Just refresh the page and then it should start working better. Thank you. What's up? Sometimes it's subtitle. Oh, finally it does. Like sometimes when I press something, it logs me out. It logs you out? Yeah, it would like log me out sometimes. So I put Weird. On. It looks like it's doing okay now though. Yeah. Rada, are you submitting your video? Yeah, that's up to you. What's she selling? She's selling um, bracelets. So the subtitle could be bracelets. Wait, can we say your name? Your name? Yeah. You could. You could say, hi everybody, my name is, and I interviewed, that kind of. So you two have submitted your videos, right? Yeah. All right. You want to see? Did you walk around and see if anybody needs help submitting? Yeah. Hey. Does anybody need help submitting? He said. Do you need help submitting? We have a student who needs help submitting. Oh, okay. No, no. They'll help who you else out. Help submitting. You need help submitting? No, who else needs? Oh, okay. Help. What's up? Um, one day, I said, that, okay. So one day, it said I need to enter my old pin, and I couldn't. Just click forgot old pin. I did, but now when I did, Minecraft has. Oh, you'll have to you'll have to reinstall it. Will it save my account? Your account is still on there, but it, you'll have to reinstall Minecraft. That's amazing. Bless you. Yep. Looks like it's running low on batteries. I'm going to have to stop it soon. Don't touch it. If you play around with that, I gotta send you back to class. Yeah. No. 
What do you do now? Um, let's watch some videos. Did you submit it? Oh, there are eight videos already. Let's see what we made. All right. This will be fun. If you're ready to watch videos and you're one of these eight, come and sit down in the middle. Let's watch videos. All right. Let's see how it goes. Okay. There's this, there's this amazing kid, Lola. You should go to her mom cook's now because she loves making bracelets. The kids all get $10 and they can buy stuff and get stuff. I think it will be very fun. But I asked her, what are you making? And she said, bracelets. She said bracelets because she thinks bracelets are going to sell really good. And I hope to if they do. Because she is hot, sweet, and loving. <laughs> Job. Good work. All right, let's see the next one. Hey, Matthew, you know this part where you're describing each part of making uh, the lemonade? I would put an icon for each of those, an icon for sugar, an icon for ice, an icon for water. It's pretty good, though. And he said that people like lemonade and people would want to taste the lemonade and some people like Matthew, same here. You said people want to taste lemonade? I want an icon for taste. I want an icon for drink. I want more visuals. He's on it now. He's on it now. You're working on it now? All right, next. No, no, no. Oh. Now, as we watch, let's think. Do we have good icons to go with the words? Are we communicating using technology with words and pictures? Cheers, Audrey. Everybody, I just wanted to tell you about my friend, Chasm, who's doing a marketplace project. And so I asked Chasm, what's a marketplace? And Chasm said, a marketplace is where you sell stuff and get money. 
And so I asked Kaslyn, what are you selling? And Kaslyn said she's selling hats. So notice, Kaslyn said da 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 da. And we've got some icons to go with it. We don't have a bunch of words, we've got icons. Folding paper to make them paper puppies. Last but not least, I asked Kaslyn, why would people buy your stuff? And Kaslyn said people would love it because she puts so much hard work into it. And because she thinks that people will support her. And so come on down to Kaslyn's great marketplace. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god, Audie, you almost had it. Almost made it. All right. Oh, no, it's my turn. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's Lily. Hi. Today I'm going to be telling you about one girl in first grade named Ilani and what she's doing in her market. First, what is a market? I then I said, a market is a place that you can get good and earn more money. <laughs> what are you making? Well, she is making a cat queen for her mom and her dad. <gasps> Why? Why does Ilana like it? Because she said it's different and she loves different. And she thinks different is cool. So that's why you want to go see, check out her item at the market. Thanks, Bob. Nice job. Nice work. This is a good lesson that when you're done publishing or right before you publish, listen to it. Make sure that it says everything you meant to say. Make sure that all your audio is captured. You can still republish. Re add, that, add that audio and republish. Hey, Miss Blue. <sighs> oh. Excuse me. Where is it? Can you give Miss Blue the those Twizzlers? You're dropping it on the ground or on the chair. I just finished my last meeting, so I'm like, I need my liquor. You got it. I can't. You're in class. Yeah, you're in class. Okay, I'll come see you. And I might stay. Yes. I'll see you. All right, audience. Van. Van. I know it. Let's do it. I know 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 it. I Sure, actually, you could just leave them on the table here. I'll, I'll wrap them up later. Thank you. And also, I, I looked and I earned 50 points in the Dragon Button. Awesome. Then on Monday, I'm going to be giving you a button. Because people like this, like Lucy, 
Students, I want to remind you that I am still recording this, and it would be awesome if I was able to show people the recording of students respectfully watching each other's videos, not making a lot of noise in the background or spinning around in their chair. If you're having a tough time spinning in the chair, please sit on the ground. Okay. Thank you, but I've got it. Go ahead and, and have a seat with your group. I like it. It's comfortable. Mm. This is not. No, it is. Everybody gets so, like, sometimes embarrassed. Uh, I love that. Hello, guys. My name is Rada, and I'm interviewing my friend, Kate. The first question I asked her was, what was a marketplace? Kate said you can sell things and make things to sell. The second question I asked Kate was, what do you make? Kate said she made bead bracelets, in particular. But just natural and normal is just like The last question I asked was, why would it sell? Kate said if you had a plain wrist and you wanted to add some pop to it, then you could use one of her beautiful bracelets. Wow, if you had a plain wrist, so there's an icon for plain wrists, you could add some pop to it by adding a bracelet. So this is a good example of using a good icon that can, helps support what you're saying to communicate. Hi guys, I hope you liked our presentation. I hope you liked the presentation. Thank you. It looks like 11 of you have shared videos so far. Awesome. I see the words here. What do you think I'm going to say? When you go back to it, you can delete those words, add pictures instead, and don't even change your audio. You can keep your audio, and then you have the picture there instead of words. All right? So now we have her using icons to help convey ideas. Very good. That's what we want to see in videos is the pictures with the words, not just the words. Not mine. Ah. Sorry. Where was I? Right there. Nice. Nice work. Now we have Olivia. Hello. Hello. Today I will be interviewing Jake. I asked Jake, what is a marketplace? He said it's a place that people sell. It's not. It's not. It's not a meal. I asked him, what do you mean? He says he needs mm. lemonade. My third answer for him was why would it sell? He said it would sell because the people around dogs are walking. Test, test, test. Hmm. That's weird. Try it with just the microphone that's built in. Was that the whole video? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. It was 32 seconds. Yeah. Jackson. Barney. Jackson. Oh, I was. Why did you do a boy?
Ms. Brighton's class. I'll say that again for the second time. Ms. Brighton's class, I'm trying to get your attention. I recognize you're getting a little squirrely, moving around, squishing around with each other. I need you to try to be focused for a little bit longer, or we can stop right now and head back to class. Your no, choice. No, no. This only works if we're paying attention. This is Jackson, a boy in Miss Hawkins' class. They are having a first grade marketplace. The first question I asked him, how does a marketplace work? Well, let's find out. Make the stuff, and the more products you make, the more money you make. How do you make your product? Um, well, there's a paper that says stuff like cool. Then you color in the stuff that was white onto the paper. Why do you think it is so? Let's find out. I Let's think it, the bookmarks will help because if they have a chapter book, they can put the bookmarks in and go to sleep. So. I heard somebody say I like the music, so Molly did got a little fancy and changed the music background. Very cool. The audio on Molly's was very clear and easy to follow, easy to understand. Very good. It's clear to me that Molly knew what she wanted to say, and she made sure to say it in her recording. It sounded great. It looked great. No. Are you recording? You just hold down record. Blah, blah, blah. Play. I already recorded that one. But I needed help. I have help. Okay. Nice work. Everybody be quiet. Are we heading back to class now or are we watching one more video first? It's got to be quiet. It's not going to work with this much noise. I still hear people talking. The last thing I want to say before playing this video, if you listen to your video just now and you think, well, I think I can do better than that. If you listen to your video just now and you're thinking, I think I can do better than that, I can make it better, make it better. You can re-record sections, you can add more pictures and publish it again and share the link again. I just told everybody, Miss Brighton, if you like yours and you're like, oh wow, it's perfect, nothing to change, fine. But if you watched it and you think, oh, there's one little part I can change, or I can add a little bit here, or change the audio there, change it. Can they do a second one, but keep yeah. it? Because like my critique for that one is whoever is sitting near that person, oh. and I at least was recording it, I can hear that. Yeah. All you got to do is go back into Adobe Creative Cloud, open up your project again, and you can make changes and then republish again. And then you're going to send me that same link, Miss Brighton. They're sending links on, um, on Dragon's Nest. All right. Wow. Wow. Awesome. What's up? Can I, uh, you know, uh, save it? Yeah. yeah. To save it, no. it's like Google. Uh, save it. Like save it. Like I'm done. Publish again. Yeah. Click on share again. Share. Publish again. Publish. And create link again. How do you save it? 
since it's it's kind of like Google, you just go back to Adobe Creative Cloud and it saves it. You can come back later to your projects. Come back later to your projects and keep editing it and messing with it. Awesome. On Monday, on Monday I'll give it to you. Thank you. These are yours, so you want to. You can leave them on your table. You can leave them on the table. That's fine. Does it auto save? Yeah. When you click out of here, uh, save changes. Yeah. Did you get to submit? No. You can do it later. That's fine. You're gonna do it? No, no, it's fine. Miss Brian, you've got your hands full. I'm good. I'll come back and your head. No, you're good. Don't do it. Come on, I need you to put that, um...